Hello, hello, and welcome to the channel. We are here with the lovely people at Carnic Boats to have a look at the SL80. Really, really good value for money boat, this. Well specced. Starting externally, comes with a set of Mercury V6 outboards. Now this one's got 225, so the standard boat for the price shown comes with 200 outboards, 200 horsepower outdrives. So you can upgrade if you want to. Quite nice that they've carried the sponsons out past to give you a little bit of bathing platform on both sides. Also really clever design. So that ba whole backrest there slides forward, but equally so does the whole seat. So you can effectively slide the seat forward like that. Either one to push it up to the dining table or to two increase the space you have on the bathing platform and also it's required so that when you tilt the engines up they're not driving themselves into the back of the seats. You can do exactly the same on that one as well and then you've got storage under both of these seats blocks. Also storage under the floor here and you've got the table there that you'll notice you can also move back and put it in the other foot there. Synthetic decking all the way around that leads right the way forward to the side decks and also a bit of storage in there for your gas bottle. Forward of the dining table, you have um, a fridge, igloo ice box, probably not an igloo to be fair, no, Retrigo. And then under here we have a little single burner hob and under this one is a little sink. But very neat the way they've molded that whole thing into the back of the helm station. You've then got two part canopy, so you've got a bimini if you want that runs over the front of the screen to protect it. Or you can run an entire canopy like a camper canvas, as you can see on the second bar here, across the back. So this whole area can be covered in if you want to. For the size of boat, it's actually got a lot of cockpit space. It's quite a beamy old thing as well. Neatly designed fender storage, which is beautifully illuminated with the speakers in on both sides. Little step up takes you to the helm station. We've got a bit of extra storage underneath there. A couple of very stylish looking Carnic helm seats with the pop-up bolsters, a couple of cup holders and a neat little glove box in there with 12 volt storage. Throttle controllers, obviously would match the engine because you can choose the engines. Trim tabs down here. Comes with a bow thruster, multifunction display and your engine controllers there as well and again another couple of 12 volt controllers there but really nice driving position really good visibility forwards and again if you're towing ski toys or water skis or weight borders you can see what they're doing I'm intrigued just to see what this is so bear with me while I find out oh it's just a little storage bin I thought it might be a first aid kit or something Oh, I'll try not to break it. Nice people at Carnic. So, leaving that to one side. Big Perspex sliding door opens up and drops us down into the cop into the um, into the saloon. As you can probably guess, that double berth, the two middle sections lift out, and there's a table in there, so you can have that as a really spacious dining area, or you could just leave it as a bed. But it does give you the option, and there's some hull glazing there as well to add some extra light in escape hatch forward and then down the side here we have a, another little fridge a couple of storage cupboards in here and then another decent sized double berth tucked in under the cockpit sole that goes right the way back over there and you can see it does come with a hull window as well for extra light and then just behind us is the heads pretty standard pump action loo little window there to let some ventilation in Moulded sink, pull out shower, mirror and storage. So pretty standard bits and pieces, but it's, it's a good price, it's a good price. And again, you can spec it up a little bit. You can choose the um, deck colors as you like. We'll just take a turn around the decks. Big forward sun pad. Again, these I think pop up or it gives you extra storage. I'm not too sure, but if you know, let me know. And there, oh, it's a bimini. There's a bimini cover that comes up over here to protect you from the sun. And then right the way forward, little dolphin nose hiding the anchor. And then under here, 
is anchor locker, anchor winch. So there you go, I'll just turn around. Ooh. Get this gentleman to wave at us. <laughs> and that is the tour, so I do hope you've enjoyed the tour. Do please like and subscribe. And I will pop some additional videos in the side here so you can follow the channel. Thank you very much and I will see you next time round.